In this video I'm going to give you a small tour of the Remarkable file system. One disclaimer ahead, you are the root user on the Remarkable, meaning you can modify and delete everything. And Linux is a system that won't ask you before I delete something, so please uh, watch out what you're doing and think twice before hitting the Enter key. The commands I'm going to use in this video are all non-destructive though, so I'm just looking at files, I'm not modifying anything. So, when we are SSH into the system, we start in the folder home root, which you can see with the command pwd print working directory. That shows you where you are, but now you might want to know what's in the directory where you are in. That's what the command ls is for, short for list. And you can see there are two files, there's log.txt and log.txt.old in my case. Log.txt is just the log file of the remarkable, we can have a look at that by typing less and then the name of it log.txt hit enter and now we're inside less and we can see what's in this log we can scroll using the arrow keys and to get out of this we just hit the q key now we are back at the prompt so doing ls again we see there are only two files but that's not really true there are some hidden folders in there so in order to see them you have to type ls-a and now you can see there's stuff like .config.local.ssh and so on. So the two important ones for us are .config and .local. Let's have a look at .config first. We want to change into this folder, so we can type cd .config, hit enter, and with the last again, show what's in there. So we can see there's a folder remarkable in there, so let's cd into that and have a look at what's in there and we can see there's xochitl, I don't know how to pronounce that, dot confirm, this xochitl is the main program that drives the UI of the Remarkable. So this is where the configuration file is residing. So let's have a look at that, we can do less and then a file. And now we can see some interesting information here, for example we can see the developer password, which is the root password we are we're using to log in, we can see the number of passcode tries which is locked, and we can even see our passcode which is called password here. Going down we can also see web interface enabled, so this is this tells us if the uh, USB interface is enabled or not, and we can see if Wi-Fi is on or not. So that's information we can find in xochitl.conf. Now let's get back to the root directory, we do that by just typing cd and then we're back at home root. Now let's have a look at the .local folder. So cd.local, let's ls and see what's in there, there's a folder share, so let's go in there. And then there's a folder remarkable, so let's go in there as well. And then inside that is a folder called xochitl. So let's go in that as well, and now I'll ask one more time, and then we can see there's lots of stuff in there. So what we have in there is our documents, our notebooks, and our folders. They all have those so-called UUIDs, or IDs of some kind, and uh, you can see there's um, .cache, .content, .highlights, .metadata, and so on. There's for, for documents, there's a .pdf, so this is where all your files reside. The important thing about this root folder is that it does not get deleted during system updates. So everything else on the system is you know, can be changed during an update, not this home folder. So everything you modify inside this folder will survive an update. Okay, now that was the content of the root folder. Now there's one other interesting folder, which is in slash usr slash share slash remarkable. Oops, there's one slash too much. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we should cd into there. You can see there are some PNG files in there which are the splash screen. So for example, the screens you see when your remarkable is sleeping or when it's turned off. You can modify them by just modifying the PNGs on here. And there's also a folder con called templates. If we go in there and ls, we can see there's PNG and SVG files for all the templates we have on the Remarkable and there's also a templates.json file which you need to modify in order to get your custom templates up there. 
but that's something for a future video. Important thing to remember is contents in USR Share Remarkable will be deleted during updates. So if you upload a custom template, you have to re-upload that after a system update. 